welcome to the chan maths graduates today we'll see roche's theorem so roche's theorem tells us that if we have some simple closed contour c and if we have two functions f of z and g of z such that those two functions are analytic function inside and on c okay third condition is that modulus of f of z is always greater than modulus of g of z at each point on c then f of z and f of z plus g of z have same number of zeros counting multiplicities inside c okay inside c not on c okay remember that so roche's theorem can help us to determine number of zeros of any function any analytic function inside some domain okay so let's see some example so this question has been appeared in gate exam 2004 so the question is we have to determine the number of zeros of course counting multiplicities okay of this polynomial inside contour this circle modulus of z equals to 2 okay so let's find out so here we have function z raised to power 5 plus 3z cube plus z square plus 1 we can write this function as z raised to power 5 plus 3z cube plus z square plus 1 okay let's assume this function as f and this function as g okay so we have f of z is z raised to power 5 and g of z is 3 z cube plus z square plus 1 okay so we know that polynomial function is always analytic okay so these two functions are analytic in circle modulus of z equals to 2 okay so second condition of roche's theorem is satisfied now let's check for the third condition so modulus of function f of z this will be modulus of z raised to power 5 from the property of modulus okay and uh, on the boundary of circle modulus of z equals to 2 this value will be 2 raised to power 5 and this equals to 32 okay right now let's find modulus of function g of z this will be less than equals to 3 times modulus of z cube plus modulus of z square plus 1 using the property of modulus okay so again on the boundary this will be 3 2 cube plus 2 square plus 1 and on simplifying this will be 24 plus 4 plus 1 this will be 29 okay so here we can see that modulus of f of z is greater than modulus of g of z on c okay so third condition of roche's theorem is also satisfied okay so from roche's theorem we can say that number of zeros of f of z plus g of z this equals to number of zeros of f of z okay now let's substituting the values of f of z and g of z okay so we have f of z is z raised to power 5 plus g of z is 3 z cube plus z square plus 1 this equals to function f of z and f of z is z raised to power 5 okay and we can easily find number of zeros for function z raised to power 5 okay so z raised to power 5 equals to 0 so its zeros are z equals to 
zero comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero five times. Okay, there are five zeros counting multiplicities. Okay, so from here we can conclude that number of zeros of z raised to the power five plus three z cube plus z square plus one this equals to Okay, now let's see which option is correct. Option D is correct here. Okay, now this video ends here, and if you want to learn more such problems, then you can buy our complex analysis handwritten notes for a very reasonable price for only rupees fifty. So if you are interested, you can contact us through this WhatsApp number. Thank you. Thanks for watching.